Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time or today, let's continue the F-22 Lightning 2 campaign. So let's jump into next mission. Mission 5, Crow's Nest. We are, the, or the primary mission is to destroy objective Saturn, Sutton, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, located 15 nautical miles from the medicine base. And we must be sure that we destroy Delta, Epsilon, Gamma and Omega squadrons. So pretty much a lot of secondary mission is to destroy other air escorts. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. So the payload are two JDAMs as usual and now four, four AMRAMs and four Sidewinders. That is better than just to fly such missions with two AMRAMs and be forced to land like eight times in one mission. So let's jump into it. My wingman is still standing on a runway. I'm surprised. He's somewhere there at the end. Where is he? Must be somewhere behind me. Alpha one, I I missed the alpha two. Okay, that's the alpha two. It's very low. I'm low too. I'm afraid that my my missile might be might hit the hill. Four crumbs. Okay. There looks like they are flying away. So alpha two, fox two, fox three. Sorry. Alpha one, fox three. Now let's focus on these targets, which are the MiG 29s as well. Beta 2, Fox 2, Fox 3, Beta 1, Fox 3. Okay. Let's fly back to base for the Amram rearm. Final approach. Just nine miles. It's hard to read such numbers now. It looks very weird on the purple or violet or what color is it? The background. Okay. Gear speed. Okay, let's let's land as fast as possible. It was quite hard landing. Okay. So we are rearmed. Let me check the situation. There might be also other flights just taking off. I think I saw only those two at the start, but looks like some other are just taking off in the background. So we completed the bonus goals by destroying Alpha Beta group, but there are still four other groups which need to be destroyed. And I can see only one of them or two. Is it two or one? No, there is only two. 
one is in the air already one is just taking off and two more might be still waiting for the takeoff clearance so this is su27 epsilon it's very very hard to see the data on the hut It's like white border around the ground, uh, green, green numbers, green letters, green symbols, and it's very hard to read it. Okay, SU27, Epsilon 2, Epsilon 1, Fox 3. Okay, this is Delta Typhoon, so let's fire at him too. Okay, let me switch off the radar as the flankers are really close. And let's fly back to base for the reload. Okay, looks like one of the flankers survived somehow. get my back where is the base 18 17 miles okay I'm gonna send there my wingman just to shoot at the remaining su-27 he might be able to destroy him I hope so Okay, that's the base. Okay, my wingman is firing at the SU-27. If he destroys him, I will call him back to me. I do not want him to mess with other aircrafts in the area. I'm not sure whether I... No, 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 what is it? Return to formation, okay. I'm not sure whether my second Amrams hit those two Typhoons. I didn't notice it, so... Because the EF-2000 Delta II is still flying there, so... With 100% airframe, so probably my both my Amrams missed, or... The enemy simply dodged them. Okay, that's the Gamma formation. The Epsilon formation or flight group is already destroyed, so one of the primary goals is done. Okay, to 20,000 feet. Altitude is pretty much okay. Gamma 3, Gamma 2, Fox 3, Gamma 1, Fox 3. Okay, let's continue towards enemies. This is Delta 3, Fox 3. Okay, now turn back, rearm. Oh, not so much, don't be afraid. We are still okay. If they decide to rush my base, we won't be okay anymore, so... Since they are still in, still in, the, in their territory, it's okay. 
so two su 27 shot down all three shot down so that was the gamma flight and also the typhoon got hit so we are good to go with epsilon gamma and now let's focus on those two remaining groups It's interesting how you can shut down your engine on a modern jet fighter and then you simply start it in the air like, like a car. It's very funny. Okay. Let's wait for the rearm. Okay, let's climb some altitude altitude so I don't know how many enemies left we'll see in a minute but definitely I'm gonna drop my JDAMs at the first like this those two circles We'll need to attack those radars. Probably my my target is this. Okay, there is no like ground target. It's just the flight groups. Wasn't it somewhere that I must destroy some, I don't know, some ground targets? I don't remember now, but... Okay, so this is Omega 3. Twenty four miles very soon. So these are probably three aircrafts in this group. Fox three, Fox three, and Omega One, Fox three. And let's see these typhoons. It's two aircrafts. Okay, so let's make a circle. And then I will ask my, or maybe, oh, it's two, two typhoons still. So I will make a circle just to get further. Lock the ground targets. I'm gonna destroy this like. some sites okay one typhoon shut down great so let's focus on or let's lock this what is it radar sa9 let's climb higher i definitely will need higher altitude to drop my jdams properly there might be some hill or anything else and also it will highly increase my JDAM range and then I will ask my wingman to attack that last typhoon and maybe that's that's it Thirty two thousand feet fifty four. Okay, that's the target. Mobile missile side, but it's somewhere behind. 
I'm able to lock the target be below me. Where are you? Where are you? Here. Mobile radar. Okay, that's my target. My radar is off. So let's drop the JDAM. Okay, JDAM dropped. Let's see the impact. Perfect hit. Okay, the radar is not operational anymore. Let's lock this Typhoon and I'll ask my wingman to shoot him down. And I'm going for this ground target in front of me. Mobile radar, Pine 5, that's it, that's it, okay. Again, let's climb a little bit higher. Probably to be somewhere below the cloud layer is enough for for your bombing run. I'm not sure whether I'm able to drop my JDAM above the cloud layer. I have to lock it on target and release it. So I'm always somehow descending a little bit or diving a little bit. Okay, okay. My wingman is firing at the typhoon. I'm gonna drop the JDAM and gonna help him. Okay. Let's switch on the no, no, I'm not going to use my radar. He fired another missile. So the Typhoon is definitely damaged. No, not yet. Great. So, mission is done. It says primary mission is done, but there is no like primary goal to destroy anything on the ground. But hey, I was carrying JDAM, so definitely need to destroy some ground targets. But okay, but the mission is done. I'm, I'm really confused from the briefing. There was definitely something about destroying some, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember the name, but it was like some ground, ground object to destroy it in a briefing and then to focus on these like four groups. But the ground objects are not like primary nor the secondary, no the bonus goals, so I don't know if only these flight groups were the target why why I was carrying these JDAMs. Okay, we are 12 miles away from the base. Let's try to land there. I remember when I was a kid, I, I had always troubles or it, it causes me like difficulties to land in flight simulators. It was always the most difficult part of the of the flight, just to return to the ground safely. 
but not in this game this is like very very easy and very very friendly for for beginners to fly land and so on so it's not very very hard okay that's it so we landed safely mission is done let's see the debriefing screen so we killed 15 enemies out of 16 and we destroyed four ground targets we released 19 missiles 17 of them hit the targets okay that's that was the mission as always guys if you if you if you write me any comment i will be very very pleased by that i really appreciate it it helps me to move forward so thank you for for any of your comments i hope the sound quality is now better and you can maybe better hear what i'm talking about so that's that's also a positive thing thank you th thank you for your feedback and uh, as always have fun take care and bye